Power Tracks present the most powerful sport on earth, the Redman TNT All-American Pulling Series. Hello everyone, I'm Richard Leak, and today it's the 7200 pound modified tractor competition. This is the Augusta Expo Land in Fishersville, Virginia, a natural amphitheater where pulling fans sit on the hillside. This is also the second of 10 points pulls on the Redman TNT All-American Pulling Series. Now last year, the winner was a surprise, Pat Friels and the Dollar Devil of Island, Kentucky. A surprise because he's powered by an iron block engine rather than the high horsepower aluminum block engine. Now Friels has been struggling so far this year in defense of his title. He's with our very own Army Armstrong trackside. Well, thanks, Richard. Standing with me right now, you're defending national champion in a modified tractor division, Pat Friels out of Island, Kentucky. Pat. A whole new format this year. Ten races for the big money at the end of the year by the Red Man people. First race is over. The turnout's not exactly what you want. We're in Fisherville, Virginia for the second stop. What are you going to do to get back in the winning spirit? Okay, I, I don't mean to harp on last year or go back to the past, but thanks to Engel Cams and uh, West Express, we had a hell of a good year last year. We kind of got in a slump, and now we've picked up some new sponsors, Harlan Sharp, Kendall Motor Oil. We come back this year really not knowing whether we're going to run the year or not. Now we think we're going to go to 10 pulls. We're going to pull out some new tricks and catch right back up. So you're definitely satisfied the horsepower is going to be there, but this year the horsepower is going to be coming from GMC. That's, that's exactly correct. Can Pat Frills put the Dollar Devil back in the number one position? We'll find out in just a minute with all the action from Fisherville, Virginia. Stay tuned. Power Tracks at the Redman TNT All-American Pulling Series is brought to you by the heartbeat of America, today's Chevy truck. And welcome back to Power Tracks, the nation's only television show devoted to the national championship points race of truck and tractor pulling. And today, we're in Fishersville, Virginia. It's the 7,200-pound modified tractor competition. Army, a real family event here in Fishersville. Yeah, this is kind of a happening, you know, picnic atmosphere. It's, it's, it's an annual event, a beautiful facility to have it in. And these fellas come all the way down from Connecticut. You know they got to be serious about chasing these national championship Redman points, Richard. And our first official puller of the afternoon, as we have a 300-foot-long track, is Mitch Stifler. He calls his tractor Rolling Thunder. He is out of Jarrettsville, Maryland, just a hop, skip, and a jump away. I stand corrected. I thought he was out of Connecticut. He is based out of the Northeast, draws that number one spot with the... Look at the way the engines are set on the tractor. You're running two engines in the front, crank to crank, and then in front of the rear wheel, you have engines pointed out. Now, Stifler draws the number one spot. He's got to take the pull no matter what happens. Good ground speed. Look at this. Richard, we're in for a show today in Fisherville. He shuts her down, 262.34. I think it looks better than it really ended up. Mitch Stifler establishes the lead distance at 262.34. Remember now, a full pull would be a 300 foot. Army, do you anticipate any full pulls today? Yeah, I think we're going to get it. The reason that looked so good was the speed. It was quick. All right, let's go trackside with our first official puller. Well, Mitch, at 262.34, is that going to be good enough to be competitive? Uh, to tell you the truth, I really don't know at this point until we watch some others pull. Uh, with the amount of wheel speed you have out there, how do you keep the heat away from these engines? That seems to be a problem. You know, there's no radiators here. How do you keep these engines from hurting themselves through the heat factor? Well, since we're running alcohol, we're running supercharged motors, the volume of alcohol and air going through them helps to keep them cool. But yes, it is a problem if we get into having to run two times or three times. Well, our next puller coming to the line, he is a good one. Bill Patterson, he's out of Richfield Springs, New York, and his tractor is called the Sassy Massey. And Army, this is a guy that could knock it down and go all the way very easily. Yeah, I tell you what, Phil Patterson's teamed up with a young man named Brian Knox, and they are a tough team. These guys can go bear hunting with a switch. I believe them they could what? go bear hunting with the switch. Down south, that means they're bad. Oh, okay. <laughs> 
Well, he's going to have to be bad enough to go beyond a 262.34. Look at the wheel speed right off the bat. I am just, look how quick they're going, how fast. A mile an hour is there. Wade comes up on Patterson trying to go on the other side of a 262. He does it. Yeah, by seven feet the word we get. So we've got us a new leader in the form of Phil Patterson and the Sassy Massey at 269.94. You do a great job of driving this tractor. John and Brian do a great job of preparing it for you. It didn't look like he was trying to pull the front end up at all. The chassis looked like it worked perfect all the way through that run. That makes driving a whole lot easier for you, doesn't it? It does. We struggled all last year, Army, trying to keep this thing straight. And we've made a lot of changes, and we're starting to straighten it out. Uh, I don't think that this tractor could have laid down a better run tonight. It went straight. It, it had all the power. If we could have had a little weight on the back or could have got the front end up, but uh, we had no movable weight. So... I think anybody with their engines in this configuration are going to have trouble getting their front end up tonight. Well, when we return, big names like Mr. Chevy, Ohio Gold, and Cracklin Rose are straight ahead on the Redman TNT All-American Pulling Series. Be part of the survival of the fittest exclusively. It's the Redman TNT All-American Pulling Series, the major league of professional truck and tractor pulling. We are into our third competitor this afternoon, and what a driver he is. Dave Banner and the Mr. Chevy, the winner of 15 Grand National Championships, 31 regional championships. And you know, he can run seven engines on this tractor in a heavier class. We ask him where or if it will all end. Dave Banner, why the seven engine set up on this particular tractor? Well, you know, I've been in the sport for 20 some years and uh, open competition and every year to keep up, you gotta add horsepower. And, and uh, boy, my brother and I have to cho choose to do it. We kept adding motors and, uh, uh, you know, we started out with one engine and now we're up to seven engine, just, just in competition. 